here. How are you guys? I'm very excited. Thank you for being here in Beyond Beauty. We have a special guest tonight. You won't believe it. I'm so excited. <laughs> So, how are you? We cannot start talking about the Super Bowl. Honestly, if you watched the show, did you? Yes, of course oh I did. Oh my God, it was amazing. So, for the ones who are connected, what's Beyond Beauty? This program is dedicated to women who are this, something beyond beauty. So, they are in a pageantry world, they are in the fashion industry, anything to do uh, with um, beauty. But what's that thing that they have beyond that? So that's this program is dedicated to them. And tonight we have an amazing guest. <laughs> Her name is Cindy. I don't know your last name, Cindy. I just with an just S. I say with an S. That's, that's a good last name I for know, me. I, I know how, how it is. Cindy with an S. So she's an amazing woman. You know, she's a flight attendant. She used to be Raptors dancer. Woohoo! <laughs> and now she's the director of Galaxy Pageant, the Canada Galaxy Pageant. So she does all those things, and I know she can do more things and i know you're doing a lot of things right now so we are here thank you Hi. very much how thank are you, you for having me i know my it's been so long but we're here oh, we're doing my this my goodness how this long like a year <laughs> last time i saw you uh yeah a year and i've met you in 2016 so oh, yeah it's I'm been old. a while <laughs> oh yeah i'm old <laughs> I'm old, I'm old. So, yeah, Cindy used to participate in Miss Universe Canada. And I know this lady is very talented, you know? That's why she's here, because I wanted to know a little bit more about you, Cindy. Because I know you are a very, you know, passionate person. Everything you put in your mind, you get it. You're an achiever. And she participated in Big Brother, season five and four uh, and five? Season three and five. It's two seasons season of the show. Season three and five. If you watch Big Brother, she was there. So I know you must be a big fan fun so Cindy tell us a little bit about more about you how did you start in this showbiz and how do you what's your purpose of yeah. having galaxy pageant uh, so I did Big Brother Canada season three and five I did the first audition back in 20 2014 was uh -huh. when the auditions and it aired in 2015 and I only did it because I wanted to win a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> only because <laughs> uh, so that's pretty much what it is like i don't really have a huge in uh, interest into the movie or the industry oh, and that thing like, when mm -hmm. i was younger i did have mm -hmm. a bit of a passion into it um like i was an extra in a movie called king of the wow. camp like, way back in the day i used to do uh, music videos and all that stuff but it wasn't something that i was actively pursuing and a few of my friends said you should check out the show it's about big personalities you can win money um, you, you do like, great. Oh I was like, oh, that's like me. I can do that. <laughs> oh yes, God. thank you. Um, so, so I auditioned and I, I got on the show. So I was very grateful for that. And I didn't win, but they did a twist in 20, oh my gosh, what year is it now? 2017. They did another season, season five. And they called me and asked me if I wanted to come back. Um, of course you did. Uh, uh, yes, I did. <laughs> I lost again. Uh, so. <laughs> but honestly, you did great. I did oh okay. I was I I stayed true to myself. I did the best that I could. Um, obviously, circumstances happen. You can't always plan everything you want. And stuff. That's why so, it calls people attention, right? Yeah, because it's a great game. It's something that a lot of people can relate to because it is yourself playing mm -hmm. in this very backwards world. And that requires a lot of strategy I know. and maybe lying and manipulation. So <laughs> there's a lot that's definitely going on, but. What was great was what got me on the show was I was myself. So for the longest time, I thought maybe the reason why they wanted me on the show was they need, they like this whole pageant girl kind of character. Um, we need an Asian on the show. So, you know, let's get that quota, di that diversity in there. But it was funny because throughout my entire audition process, I always said, hi, I'm Cindy with an S. And that's something that I have Cindy said. My entire life, I like I named myself back in grade three. I actually mm -hmm. picked that name myself. <gasps> and I really didn't like it when people, whenever I said, oh, I'm Cindy. And they'll always write C-A-N-D-Y. with an S, okay? Yes. Yeah, so 
started correcting people. Cindy with an I. So it just became kind of my trademark my entire life. Iconic. All through high school, university, college, workplaces. When I worked on cruise ships, everything that I did, I always introduced myself as, Hi, I'm Cindy, Cindy with an S. <laughs> and it's, it's very bold introduction I find I know. it will have a huge range of reactions it will people will either appreciate it laugh hate it. or they will absolutely hate it and like find everything. it the most annoying thing possible but what's great it's a conversation starter exactly. and I've noticed that it's what people remember me by so I would have roommates who would say oh yeah Cindy my, my roommate Cindy Everyone's Cindy like, with oh, an okay. S. Oh, it's Cindy with an S. Oh, I know that girl. Oh, yeah, she introduced herself to me too that way. But it's always been memorable. So I've always done it throughout my workplaces. I used to have a sales drop, and they said they refused to give me a name tag that says Cindy with an S until they, until I hit my target. No kidding. Which I did. <laughs> I was number one in everything I do. So. <laughs> So oh, I, I mean, would get it. You know, why so not? Normal. I have long hair now, so now I'm just <laughs> flicking it everywhere um, and all that stuff. But it's been quite amazing that something that is myself, that's been me my entire life, that's now. what got me on the show. Oh, and wow. it wasn't, I had to pretend to be this person. I was trying to make them happy. I was just, I'm Cindy with an S. That's what got me on the show. But um, it did help me a lot more with pageantry has helped me into the game and what I has got into you, that like clearly when i just saw you and how i lost time. every single time no 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 not about that your bubbly personality oh thank you and everybody likes you and everybody wants to be around you and you were like oh my god i'm here when cindy's here <laughs> life is here i try yes yeah you bright you you know you have natural light thank you so much you. and i've really seen like that, that that was about four or five years ago when we first met and I can't believe it's so many years. Yeah. And I Miss can't. Universe Canada was one of I Why? I just started getting into pageantry again. So it was one of like I knew I was because gonna you age out. Pageantry since you were little. I know. I did. But right? I didn't think that I was a pageant girl when I was little. Okay. Because but you gained confidence. Yes. Along the years. Yeah. I really like that. Thank because you. this is what I want you to talk about. Yes. Because here we talk about beauty pageants and you know makeup and fashion and all these things but we need to know that thing that is inside of you that makes yeah. the difference why it's cindy with an s <laughs> it's different or why you have this light that is like you know contagious around others it's a lot to get to where i am today like i'm i'm 30 years old i turned oh, 30 wow. 31 oh my god God, I want to be like you. No, I, you know, I'm, I'm excited to to grow and to get older because the, my my growth in the last two years compared to my growth in the last four years and looking back to every step of my life, I've never, I didn't realize how much I did grow until I look back and the little things that used to bother me back then doesn't bother right me now. as much now. And right? it's just... And, but the things that should have been more important to me, that is important to me now, should have been more important back then. Where it, it, but it's a lot of growing. And I think society is also growing at the same time, at exactly. the same pace that we are, exactly. to make me to make us more aware. Um, just like how you know we talked about, you said the Super Bowl yesterday, how there's a lot of controversy controversy um, in regards to having you know two Latina women on stage, um, having the fact that people thought it wasn't age appropriate or family friendly, which is a very Come on, double last standard. Last year's show was shirtless guy. Exactly, like and it was very sexy, and kids were watching. Nobody says nothing because it was a man. Right? So the double standard is definitely still exactly. there. But what's great now was if this were to happen about five years ago, people would mention this double standard. People will point it out. This is not appropriate. But no one would really actually defend it. So what's great now is seeing people talk about it. Yes, there mm -hmm. are the double standards. So there's still the people that says that is inappropriate. They shouldn't put a Puerto Rican flag on stage. They should have done this. They should have done that. But then you see so many strong people on the opposite end ready to fight Defending. back. Defending. That wasn't there years no. ago, right? So it's nice to see that now, and that's where I see myself where I'm a lot more bold, a lot more spoken, a lot more passionate in the things that I want to say and do because of people that I also see who also are using their voice for that. Because the reason why I didn't do pageantry for so long was because I didn't think that I was tall enough, pretty enough, mm -hmm. or most importantly, I was Canadian enough. 
because my entire life I was Where are very you from? dumb. Tell us. Well, I was Your background. I'm Vietnamese. I was oh born goodness. in um, Hong Kong. Came oh. to Canada when I was one. Okay. And my entire life has just been Canada, and you know I've lived <laughs> oh, in. Oh, you're Canadian. Yes. But growing up, it was very hard Your to culture. relate that, to exactly. that because people were to say, well, you can't do pageants and represent Canada because you don't look You're Canadian, Asian. right? And that was very hard, you know, growing up, you know, three, four or five years old. I'm watching Miss Universe on TV and I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I'll just cheer for Vietnam and not Canada. <laughs> like, she's the only one that looks like me. So it took a very long time for me to get into the pageant world. I didn't actually started really competing until I think 18, 19, I did a really like those little small pageants. It's very glit style, like natural <laughs> yeah. toddlers and tiara styles at 19. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, but it wasn't until I was 23. Uh, so when uh, I did MUC at Miss Universe Canada, that yes. was kind of, um, just before that I did like Miss World Canada mm -hmm. and I did like the perfect pageant. I did a lot of smaller pageants and then I was like, Okay, I need to do MUC because I'm going to age out really soon. I'm turning 28. If I don't do it now, exactly. I'll never do it. Um, so I was really excited that I did because that was a dream. I was a bucket list. I didn't win. <laughs> the most amazing person did, Sierra. So I was very happy that she did win. Um, but it was. It took a lot. So like looking back now of all the steps and like how it got there. Because when I first thought about pageantry, it was originally, well, I'm pretty now. <laughs> um, I think I can do this. I can yes, win. Exactly. And then it was until when I got into pageantry that Beyond Beauty became much more important because exactly. everyone was beautiful competing. It wasn't just me. Uh, it was and, a lot of other this people. this is the beauty about uh, Canada. Yes. The diversity, multiculturalism, yes. and the inclusion in everything. And that is why I like your pageant mm -hmm. because it's Yay, inclusive. Galaxy. <laughs> galaxy pageant. She's the director. So uh, uh, talking about Miss uh, Universe again. Yes. Miss Universe Canada. Yes. Yes. Miss Universe Canada could be Asian, could be Indian, could be because yes. you know we had. We have, we have a huge list of diversity exactly. with almost all the, the winners. The first person, Samantha. Yes. Tajik. Yes. Two thousand and eight. Yes. She was Persian and she won the crown. And she was Canada. She was representing And it was Canada. great to see that on stage. Exactly. But it was still, there was still a lot of lack of uh, representation on TV, especially yes. because, um, especially for Asians in general, because mm -hmm. I find that in pageantry, it's such a huge, like, such a huge lifestyle pageantry within the Spanish community and the Latina community and the Filipino community and all that stuff. So for me, it's like, even though I didn't see, like, we have Sam and then we have people who are other backgrounds, but I also saw all of their other backgrounds, like, represented on stage, right? Like, you're seeing mm -hmm. Venezuela and Colombia and Brazil. Exactly. And you're seeing all these countries, and I'm like, I still don't see any Asians, like, <laughs> making it up there for a while. You know, it took a while before Japan finally won. Exactly. Um, it took a while before, you know, Vietnam just got into the top five last um, year. No. Oh, with short and hair. with short hair, and that's the first time that Vietnam made it, made it into the amazing. top five in almost like 15 years. But it was just in, amazing to see, and I was so proud to see that. But it also shows, like, okay, I still don't see a lot of representation of Asians on that. So it was very exciting that when I did do Big Brother Canada, I was one of the first Asians to be on that that's show. So cool. And until last year, we had another like two Asians join last year. But before that, it was just me for a while. And to hear other people message me and say, I'm trying out for the show because you represented the Asian community. Oh or I just cheered you on because you're Asian. It was nice to know that I, I was able to have that platform to be able to represent my community voice. and that voice. I need to use that a lot more than I do now. But <laughs> it's great to see that. So to me, watching the Super Bowl last night was very important. It wasn't just about You're like just napping. it wasn't just about opening I, I was napping. <laughs> I woke up just to watch the performance. Like okay, you cannot okay. watch Shakira and JLo. <laughs> like you just can't. Um, okay. So I woke up for that and just to see everything that they were saying and doing, like not only were they there was female empowerment in there mm -hmm. to see, you know, we have three strong female performers. We have Demi and Shakira and JLo. A lot of generations, you see yes. so the little one. And then to also see like her bringing her daughter on stage to sing. That was right. And then her political statement that she went through. So she had that one performance of all the all the children in the cages. Right to represent what was currently happening in the exactly. U.S. I, we're Canadian, so if I'm off with my information, I'm sorry. 
But, <laughs> you know, to see them do that. But they had the girls sing Let's Get Loud. Let's and the, get the lines that they were singing was very important. And then it segue into born in the USA and her having a Puerto Rican and a USA flag. Like to me, that was just that so was beautiful amazing. to see. Yes, that was a huge message. Huge what message. You hear just was but people didn't care. <laughs> in la saying like, let's get loud. Yes. And nobody can tell you what you're going to be. So it was, like, it was great. It's like, it, it gives you chills, right? Yes. It, it was amazing, honestly. Mm -hmm. And not only that, like how every culture was represented in one show. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, how they could mix every single song yes. and create this amazing show. It was amazing. It was, it was fantastic to see. Boy. Even to see like Shakira because she's um, half Lebanese as well. Half Lebanese. So like a lot of people forget that because they just, because they oh, do yes. focus a lot on her Latin background. And um, I know a lot of people made fun of like the tongue, tongue oh, wagging yes. thing that she did, but it's called um, a zagruta, which is like a, a Lebanese, like a way of expressing joy yes. and happiness. Oh, yeah. So it was amazing to see that and to see a lot of the Middle Eastern and Arabic culture being represented on exactly. that stage. So anyways, we can talk about the Super Bowl forever, oh my God, uh, yes. but let's go back to talking about me. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, I am really interested in one thing. You were mentioning that you, you were working on sales and you have a name tag with it. Cindy with an S. Oh, it wasn't a name tag. That's a full on plaque. Like, <laughs> it was just on my office. Full like, name plaque. Yeah, to yeah. make sure, because I didn't want it just to say Cindy. It's you are still thing. working as a flight attendant. Did yeah. Do you have your name tag with Cindy with an no, S? No, my, my name tag just says Cindy on it. They don't. Um, I think we have to pay extras for the letter. I can't remember, but I barely wear my name tag anyways. Um, but also like on a plane, I feel like a lot of people tend to be, um, in Formal. the, in the, no, they're just not as super like flying. Oh, okay. So like anything you do can rub people the wrong way. And the last thing I want them to do is to complain and know my name. So I, <laughs> I don't wear my name tag a lot at work anyways, but the people who do know me, they're great. They're fine. Um, but like, that's the only time I didn't put like Sydney with us, but like when I did pageantry, I remember when I competed at Galaxy Internationals, I represented Canada yes. in the Miss Division. And in the, it, we did the final show and the final competition and our director, Maria, actually said, like when I came up for swimmer, like Cindy with an S. <laughs> so like she remembers it and all that stuff. But that's the thing is like, that's what I love about it. And that's what makes me me. And it was great. Uh -huh. it, it took a while really? for people to realize it because a lot of people thought that it was a gimmick that I did for mm. TV. They're just like, did you really, like, you just did that for TV, but it's literally been my entire life all through That's school beautiful. growing really up. Like so it's nice are. to. I really like your like, personality. I really like you and I really admire you. Thank to be you. With you. When I was judge uh, last year, yes. I really admire the power that you have, the influence, and how you handle a big show because doing pageantry is not easy. No. It's definitely Beauty not. pageants requires balls. I'm sorry. I have to I, say. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that back. I don't like that word balls because it's it's I know it's like it's very it's a very sexist term in a sexist. sense, right? And like as we were looking at, if we're if we're gonna talk about genital parts here, we also know that you know the male genital parts can be a bit more sensitive than the female sorry. one, right? So I wouldn't say. For other people who would like to use um, that word, I recommend What's using like, the, like bold. It's, it's very bold to Re do no, that. It's, my... <laughs> we're going to change your vocabulary Re here. Replace my... Yes, my, my. but it, it, you know, it does take a lot of work courage. ethic and courage. It is, it's a bold industry to get into. And wow. a lot of people think that you can just start a pageant. That it's you can nice. just throw in a fancy name. And, you know, here we go. And there's so much work that gets Behind involved. Behind the scenes? Yes. And oh, my God. It's a lot. And you know, too, right, with your pageant as well. And it's a, it's a lot of work. And so I think it requires a lot more than male genitals. I think it requires a lot of your entire life uh, oh to do God. the pageant. And that's my, qu my next question. How do you handle your full-time job as a flight attendant? With the directorship, okay. because this pageant is huge. It is very big. I'm very excited as it gets bigger. Uh, so I, I, I balance a lot. I am still a full-time flight attendant as well 
as a full-time director and a full-time girlfriend. So it's, <laughs> wow. it's a lot. That's the third. The third job. No, but it's just to learn. It's about balance. Mm -hmm. um, I need to work on a little bit of that is balance as supportive? well. He is very supportive. Like, Tyler, <laughs> I know you're not watching. <laughs> Uh, but I not? love you, and you're very, very supportive. Because he hears me talk about pageants 24-7. Oh, oh so God, everything, I every idea that I have, I bounce off of him. Uh, he's been very supportive of every it's since, since we've met. Because we actually met in New Orleans um, just a little bit before the pageant in April. So he's already seen me stressed out for two national pageants oh and God. everything in and between. And being stressed about beauty pageants is yeah. so And people much. just don't understand the amount of work that goes into it. But... Um, my schedule is very different when it comes to flying, but a lot of the stuff that can be done remotely. So me, oh. uh, like us answering questions for delegates that have you know, questions about pageantry, this is the first time, or even just planning a lot of the site visits and all that stuff. I try to delegate it as much as I can. If I can okay. get people to go look at places for me, they can, but I try to plan. And stuff. Yes. I try to plan as early as I possibly can. And, but a lot of the stuff can be done literally on my phone or on our laptop mm -hmm. so that I can answer questions or people email in. But I need to have a better balance with my time usage because I'm always just like, I just want to answer everyone's questions right of away. Course. And, you know, my boyfriend is really trying to get me more centered to be like, no, you need to give yourself an imaginary work hours so that when you answer your questions, you stop at a certain time. <laughs> and so we've done it more where, okay, I'm now answering questions between this time and this time, unless they're from, you know, Vancouver or BC, then, That's very smart. then they're three hours behind. I have to, That's very smart. Like, so but you have to plan yourself. In it's been hours. really hard because especially, um, I know how it is with pageantry and the momentum into it. And if people don't mm -hmm. sign up right away, they start doubting themselves. It's like, I, I compare it to bungee jumping. Sales. So I, I bungee jumped, um, in South Africa. And I, I jumped off the Brooklyn's Bridge. And the biggest thing they tell us is when we count down, if you don't jump right away, every second after that, you just, You're not jump. you'll just doubt. And that's why I compare that to pageantry where, especially for those who have done pageants or have never done pageantry, you honestly just need to take that plunge. Because you know in the back of your head, this is something that you want to do. I say just plunge in, like feet first, <laughs> and, and then deal with the details later. Um, <laughs> Figure it out later. Okay. The money, the dresses, the so, outfits, you can just do it later. That's so cool. We're going to commercials and we're okay, coming we have back. commercials. <laughs> we have commercials. Nos encontramos aquí en Be Unique, en el 3590 de Rutherford. Los invitamos a todos nuestros servicios que tenemos, como manicure, pedicure, corte de cabello, color, patch reduction, como creolipolisis, cavitación y mucho más que podemos ayudarte con tus eventos especiales. Si quieres lucir espectacular en tu fiesta favorita, Be Unique. Extensiones de pestañas, tenemos microblading, tenemos lifting de pestañas eh, y bueno, muchas cosas más que podemos ofrecerles para tus ocasiones especiales. En Bionic no solo contamos con los mejores servicios, sino que también contamos con los mejores productos, tales como eh, la línea Casmara de España y la línea de Diego Dalla Palma de Italia. Todos para cubrir las necesidades de tu piel. Los esperamos en Bionic. Hola, mi nombre es Victoria Morales. Soy agente de bienes raíces para Century 21 Titans Realty Inc. Comprar una casa es quizás la inversión más grande que podremos hacer en nuestras vidas. La relación entre mi cliente y yo está basada en la confianza. Pienso que conocer las necesidades de mis clientes es crear relaciones duraderas basadas en la mutua confianza. Me siento orgullosa de ofrecer mi profesionalismo y seriedad porque es en estas cualidades que los buenos negocios están basados. Ayudar a mis clientes para comprar su primera casa, invertir en otra propiedad o vender su casa actual, consiguiendo el mejor precio del mercado en el menor tiempo posible es mi prioridad junto con sus necesidades personales. Trabajo con un gran equipo de aproximadamente 80 profesionales que junto a mí podemos ofrecerles el mejor respaldo que nos acredita alrededor del mundo. Estoy convencida de que no puedes estar en mejores manos. Si estás pensando en comprar, vender o rentar una propiedad, debes contactar a Victoria Morales, pues tengo toda la información que usted necesita.
Ya estamos. Y we're back. We're still here with Cindy with an S. <laughs> we're going to read messages because uh, somebody saying hi to Cindy. Cindy, can you read your message there? Okay, so we have a lot of pageant people watching this stream. I appreciate <laughs> you, you all so much for watching this and supporting me, even though you all Yay. listen to me talk all the time. <laughs> Uh, so, like, I see that Maria, our international director of Galaxy International, is Whoa. watching. I'm, Maria is actually uh, oh, Spanish, so if you want to talk to her in Spanish, because okay. I can. Maria, I'm here. Podemos hablar en español. Saludos desde Canadá. What Toronto, she, Canadá. Yeah, what she said. For Maria. Mm -hmm. what, what she said. Yeah, whatever she said. Whatever she said, I agree. Uh, and then we have... Uh, some of my pageant moms, we have Lindsay as well as Janice is watching, and some of our girls, our previous Galaxy girls like Regine and Katrina um, and Alexis. So I appreciate all of your message. Alexis said, Cindy's, why am I reading my own comments? It's so weird. <laughs> Cindy is an amazing director. Why? Thank you, Alexis. I appreciate you. And I'm glad that you're coming back. So, uh, Alexis is one of our delegates. Uh, she was one of two transgender delegates we had last year, oh, that's which was beautiful. really great. And it really got her out of her comfort it's zone. Um, so today. it was her and D. So she represented BC with Surrey BC and mm -hmm. D represented Etobicoke. Uh, D is also another transgender and she placed within the top five. So it was nice that we had a pageant that offers Inclusive. that inclusivity. Uh, to it as well. And then we also have Lindsay saying, no. for years, I thought your last name was Whippin. <laughs> You're not the only person. Uh, a lot of people tell me that all the time. When I did Miss Universe Canada, mm -hmm. you know how we did people's I choice thought. voting? And I'm telling everyone, okay, make sure you vote for me online on the website. Here's the website. Everyone, you have people were asking, they were just like, um, we can't find Cindy Withens, but we found Cindy Weung. Is that, <laughs> is that you? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but, okay, just so everyone knows, that's my last name. Um, but yes, Withens. I'm gonna, Withens. I'm going to probably legally. Janice Vanessa. It's, uh, it is huge, and she's so extra amazing system to be a part of. Janice! So she's amazing. Yes, Janice is one of my moms. Both of her daughters won, um, both Kinsley and Kylie. So they won mm. the 68 division and the 9 to 11 division. Oh my God. So she's probably saying it's extra because I just made everyone's, <laughs> every, we made everyone's jackets. Oh my so God. Lindsay owns an apparel company. So okay. it has our name on it. Cindy. And then on the back it says Canada National Galaxy. Director. Mine says National Director. But then all the queens have theirs, like 2020 <laughs> teens and. All that stuff. <laughs> so, okay. I'm very proud of this. I wear it everywhere I so go. So now that we're showing this in the cameras, so can you invite people? And yes. tell people why this pageant is different from the others and yes. why you are encouraging people to participate and what's the difference, what's the impact? I love how I get more excited talking about Galaxy than <laughs> of myself. Uh, so Canada Galaxy pageant is a two-day event happening here in Toronto. Listen. Our next event is happening on September 5th to 7th, 2020, this year, uh, which is during the Labor Day weekend. We are a very inclusive pas uh, competition and pageant mm -hmm. system. So there's no age limit. There's no, no restriction age. based on your height, your size, your weight. If you're married, you can still compete. If you have children, you, you can still children, compete. You can compete. Which is really shocking because I've had Ana, their... Animate. Oh, yes! <laughs> I can't wait. Okay. Ana, anima. Come on. The production team, we're trying to encourage them to come compete. Yes. Um, but yeah, so because we get that, because I know a lot of Miss pageants, or a lot of pageants in general is between the 19, 27, that's, that's it. it. All the Grand Single Slams. Single, no kids. Yeah, singles, no, which I understand because, for example, if you win Miss Universe Canada, oh, go yeah. to Miss Universe. If you win Miss Universe, the next day you move to New York City, exactly. you have a job. So it's hard for an organization to talk to the person and go, um, you may have a partner in life, you may have children, but you need to uproot their entire lives to move to New York. So wow, I can yes. understand certain organizations like the, um, yeah. like the Grand Slams because they do require their winners to uproot their life and move to wherever headquarters is. So, so them, even though it's a little outdated, I can understand why they say unattached women between 19, 27, 28. Uh, but what's great about Galaxy is I'm not making you move anywhere. And if you win, if you were to win uh, uh, Galaxy Internationals, sorry, we're not taking phone calls in this uh, live and stream. We are, uh, the, the turn the phones off. They're off now. Hotline is off. Sorry, y'all. She's um, like, we're not taking calls right now. Mm -mm. 
We're talking about Galaxy. It's very important. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, Pay attention, please. <laughs> so, uh, what was it? Um, but a lot of the pageants, so for us, we don't make you uproot your life. If you mm -hmm. were to win the international title, which is the coveted title, um, they don't require you to move anywhere as well. So okay. we do understand that people have lives outside of pageantry. They have a lot of a lot of things going on, especially if you have some moms competing. They have four kids. Exactly. You know, they have a full time job. They have a household to uphold, and they're they're married or they're and not. At least and they can use this platform to do something specifically to impact others in yes. a positive way. The right? biggest thing I want people to take out of pageantry is to do it mm. for yourself. As much as pageant girls and pageant women compete and we say, we have a platform, I want to represent this community and talk about this platform and this, by the end of the day, you need to do it for yourself. And oh, yes. I find that a lot of people are afraid to do it because they say, you know, I, ha I do have kids or I have a full-time job and they're doing this and all I hear is, okay, great, you're doing stuff for other people, but if you want to do a pageant, why don't you do this for, for you yourself. and get that confidence back at that self-esteem because a lot of the time especially the moms and the 28 and up they always tell me like i don't have because we do force you to compete in swimwear there is still a swimwear competition <laughs> for the old you. i'm they sorry <laughs> but the thing is but what's great about swimwear is i'm not making people going you have to wear a two-piece bikini they get to wear Whatever what they, they feel is beautiful Aww. what makes them feel confident on stage for them to be able to come out so i've seen where women of all sizes and all diversity wear you know a one piece right they have capes on they have a one piece they have high-waisted sarongs and they work it like there's no tomorrow but what's great about the pageants is it forces you to set a goal for what makes you unhappy like i knew for the longest time i know i'm a small girl mm -hmm. but for some reason i thought if i wasn't a double zero i am fat and I grew up feeling that way my entire time, right? I wow. worked, I worked on cruise ships. I gained 25 pounds. I put on a size four, size six dress, and I cried because I <gasps> thought I was, I was like, fat. I'm an extra large. No one's gonna. Oh, none of my clothes fit me. And it wasn't until someone that worked there said, "You do realize that a size four and six is still a small." Yes. And she's like, still. I was like, I was wearing a double zero. She's like, yeah, that's like a triple that. extra small. That doesn't make sense. So <laughs> it took a while for me to get into pageantry. And it was where, like, I, I'm allergic to exercising. And, allergic? <laughs> um, so I don't. Me too. Exactly. It's a very of camera, hard thing for me to do. She's allergic to gym. I'm allergic to exercising. Exercising. Oh, okay, so it's um, it's a very <laughs> hard life it. to live. Um, <laughs> but what what has got me when I did compete in pageants was how to focus on my health. Okay, if I'm choosing to not work out, what do I need to do to make sure? To be healthy. Yeah, because I know that I'm not eating as well as I should be because I'm taking all these naps. I shouldn't be taking this Aww. much naps because I'm not I'm not reminding myself to eat three meals a day and all this okay. stuff. I get so busy with things that I'm doing throughout my day. Okay. But when I compete in a pageant, I'm so focused on my health. I'm so focused to what I need to do to make sure I'm wide awake, to make sure I am paying attention, I'm attentive in everything that I'm doing. And that's why I tell people all the time, it's like, if you're doing pageants, you need to do it for yourself. You need to do it because exactly. you, you, you want you to prove to yourself. Motto, you have to have a motive yes. to be there. Yes. Why? Aside from, you know, it's great that everyone gets involved in charity and oh, they yes. volunteer and that's a bonus. But a we bonus. need, I want people to compete because they want to bring that self-love back first. I want them to start mm. to love themselves because, you know, like RuPaul says, if you can't love yourself, <laughs> how, how is anybody going to love you, true. right? So I, that's what I love about this system is even convincing Denise to come and compete, you know? She's already I competed. Know, and she's they, amazing. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, do you want to compete in my pageant? Like, it's not Miss Universe Canada, but like, but, do you want to come? <laughs> but, you know, for her, she, you know, she aged out into the other Miss pageants. She got married and she, got a she, kid. she has a beautiful baby. Theo. Oh, be and that's, and the thing was, when she competed in September, she just had Theo in April. So she, she was just a new mom. And it's, it's very hard for all moms post you know birth to get back into the mentality of loving yourself as exactly. much you love yourself you love the child that you're producing because having just a like, baby is a huge impact yes. for your body yes your mind your routine mm -hmm. as a woman so, so it's course. nice that we do have a system that encourages mothers to compete mm -hmm. um 
it's great is when we do have mothers that do compete and they have little ones because we have the little kids division Aww. like as young as six years old that can come and compete oh so there's like mother daughter experience daughter. Oh. like even this year we have um um an aunt who surprised her uh niece with the pageant so now it's an aunt niece competition so um jenny surprised her for christmas and paid for her entrance fee and everything to say and you know like you're competing, little one. So <laughs> it's really great to see that. But I'm just excited to bring something that was missing in Canada is we don't have any multi-division pageantry here. Mm -hmm. And we don't have a lot it's that offers. It's the first unique. It's the only one. It is. And also offers a full ride. So we offered the winners the entrance fee, flight, and accommodations to go to internationals. Because oh, okay. there are a lot of pageants where, you know, you can be the next, you know, Miss Canada, whatever. Yeah. And you get appointed or you may have won. But then if you were to go to an international pageant, you still have to pay yeah. for this and this and this. And of course. It's I, a lot of expenses. It, it is a lot of expenses, expenses and there's so them. much you can do to like get sponsors and all this. It's a very expensive hobby that we all decide to go into. And as being as someone mm -hmm. who have competed for over a decade, I wanted to offer a system that is cost efficient. Like it's not crazy expensive to compete at Canada Galaxy pageants. But then once you enter, I do a lot for them. Like, you know, we, we put like we got a choreographer from New York City, Sarah That's Burke coming so in good. to teach them the opening number instead of me. Uh, we also have like <laughs> hair and makeup team covered. We also have the photographers and the videographers. But then if you were to win, I do everything in my power to make your reign as enjoyable as possible. Oh. And whether it's finding appearances for them or being at appearances to see them, I don't want them to feel like they're alone. And that's they're what's alone. happened in a lot of systems, so many systems is you would win and then the director like disappears oh, yeah. and you're just and by yourself. Yeah. yeah. And I just, I want them to feel like they're part of a sisterhood, they that they do have support. And sometimes it's hard because, you know, I've had people in the past where I'm trying to give them my honest opinion on what the best way for them to win. But then they sometimes take it as they think I'm trying to sabotage them. But it's like, <laughs> I'm not competing against you. Like, I'm the director. I'm trying to encourage. And if you need my help with anything, I'm there. And same thing with my queens. And it's been very open. Like, we talk all the time. And they're just like sisters to each other. And I'm their pageant mom now and exactly. everything. And I love them all so much. But, like, this... Galaxy has taken so much of my life. It's something that I'm very passionate about and it's hard But because like I'm one of those directors like I do message people on Facebook if I see someone that has potential that they don't because I remember last year I messaged this one mom Lex from Barry who has tattoos all over her body and she didn't think that she was a pageant girl because she's like I have Can tattoos I have a kid like I'm not married like I'm an unmarried mother like how does that look and all this stuff and she never thought in a million years that she would do it and she came My her God. mom and her sister came and supported her um, she represented Barry and the town of Barry was behind her they like, sponsored a lot of the stuff for her they even gave her like this um, city of Barry pins for her to wear and she, so and beautiful. she was one of the girls I was so proud of to see her go from zero no experience nothing at all in pageantry to pushing it and now she encourages other women to do it and she does oh a lot in her God. community anyways but it was nice to give that How opportunity you impact the one life yeah and, and, just, others. and that's the thing is it's something as me just messaging them and saying hi like you don't hi. know me <laughs> but weird, I know it's weird and like all this <laughs> stuff but I think like you should give it a chance and that's what I do a lot in my spare time was like, is people would add me as friends or I would see mutual friends and I'm like, okay, you know what? Like, I'm going to send them a message. A lot of the time, you know, some people are very apprehensive being like, who's this girl messaging yeah. me? But then when they realize that I'm not some, cause I know on, on Facebook, there's those links that says, well, watch my video or this exactly. and that. I or am a real person. Some, yeah. You know, multi-level. And I get it. Like I am like selling an experience, but that's the thing is where I'm doing this. Like, I don't, I don't even care about the money. By the end of the day, I just want my girls to feel so happy. I do so much with the production, the show, moving it to a theater. We're doing the Lyric Theater this year. That's so good. And just to put so much into it. And, like, I love how um, some of the comments here, like, they know that I do. <laughs> like, I, 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 like made, I, like, made mugs for people <laughs> at the jacket. Look, I have a comment here. It's Lindsay Nicole Gilmore. Uh, my kid came so close, so she so did. excited to be going back to internationals, and she can't go. Oh my God, she's going to internationals. Yes. Galaxy is such an amazing sisterhood. Come join us. Yeah. So if you are interested in competing, if you are a yes, mom or not a mom, everybody. if you're married or not, 
Uh, the ages are six. Can I compete? Yes, you can. <laughs> Mama, come compete. Okay, it can be I'm going six. To compete. You guys can both compete together. You're going to like you're going to represent Tag to a linear TV. Yeah. Are you going to? Do it. Yes, like, do it. But what's great is there is no oh, yeah. age cap. Yeah, I'm going to the gym, trying to, you know, make myself okay, better. <laughs> because you know what? And my problem. Winner. My problem is I'm, I'm allergic to exercise too. Yeah, I'm actually allergic and for I real. I love to eat. You guys are the worst. That's my problem. <laughs> I have to confess. I love to eat. But and I love thing. Um, chili. <laughs> we know that. Do you have some? Is this where you're really gonna bring some chili food. I love hot food, you know, spicy food. This is love good. It. So I can compete. So listen to Cindy because she's inviting you. All of you listen. You could yes. be little, you could be married, you could have a kid, you can have tattoos, you could be transgender. Everybody is welcome to very welcome. Canada Galaxy Pageants. You can check out CanadaGalaxyPageants.com. Mm -hmm. We also have all of our social media is on that as well. Just or just click on my name. Just click on my profile on Facebook and creep me all you want. And I hope to see you all there and come and compete or at least enjoy the experience. And we're really excited. There's a lot of time. It's uh, about seven months till the next nationals. Our current queens are going to internationals in July. And it's hosted in Chicago. So I'm really excited. I fully expect seven crowns to come home. Oh my God. Uh, a lot of, a lot of expectations crowns. and hope. But we did really, really well last year. We had um, our Casey, our junior Miss Galaxy Canada 2019. Casey placed within top eight. And oh then my God. Congrats, our Casey. Ms. Brittany, uh, Ms. Brittany. Galaxy Canada, mm -hmm. she got second runner up. Oh, wow. And then we had our Miss Preteen Galaxy Canada, Alexis, who got first runner up. She wow, was so, so you're close. producing winners. I, I am five. getting there. Ooh. So, so <laughs> Alexis, because she plays first runner up, she has the honor to come back as Junior Miss Galaxy <laughs> North America. So, she's coming back with Team Canada this year as well to have a second go at the wow, crowd. Cindy. So, it's really, it's really tough. You. And we have a big team of eight going down, and you know we see we see all the other teams like UK has been amazing the last eleven years. Oh we have Bahamas, God. Portugal, yeah. Australia. It's oh. been intense. We so. need to read comments. She said, "You are amazing, Lindsay Duet." These are just comments about me, everyone. <laughs> uh, they're just saying that I'm amazing. You are amazing. Um, but read them. Read them. You're not wrong. I'll tell you that, uh, which I do appreciate so much. <laughs> but, like, that's the thing, you know? Like, I see Danica is watching. She's a new mom as well. Danica, you should be competing. Mm -hmm. um, Mary Ann from Montreal, you and your daughter Stephanie should be competing. Uh, we're waiting for that mother-daughter team coming here. And I can go on forever with all of you people watching here because <laughs> not a single person of you is not eligible to compete. To so. Please come, please do it. And oh, James McKay is also watching. He was our official photographer, uh, Queen's photographer this Ooh. year. So you can see lots of his work as well. McKay Collective, one of the, okay. like, I adore him. And you actually met James. You met James when you were judging oh, yeah. interview. Yeah. Hello, yes. So James has been amazing. He came and he shot our girls and we're hoping to do another photo shoot with him coming soon because the He's girls so are amazing. getting new crowns. Oh, um, so God. Internationals has that. redesigned it. And we have this beautiful. I this I'm so excited. So hopefully this year, next year, oh no, next year, this month, next month, <laughs> <laughs> this month, this month, um, we'll get the new crowns for the girls and recrown them and do a photo shoot and everything. We only have five minutes, but we still have a lot of things to say. There's so, nothing left to talk as, about. As you, <laughs> as you can tell, she's very passionate about yes. galaxy patch. <laughs> yes, it's a sisterhood. It's my life. I want to ask you something. What is your secret? Because you're 30. Yes. She's thirty. Look at her skin. I'm not wearing any makeup, you know everyone. What? You know what? I want to be just like eyelashes. <laughs> um, She's like, only lashes. Yeah. No. You know what's Look funny? At her skin is very. It looks hydrated. Yes. Flexible. Oh my and God. No wrinkles. She has don't. no wrinkles. Stop. So as we Literally, are, don't stop. Keep going. Beyond beauty, we need to talk about beauty. You know, Let, tell us your secrets. There's this share with people. You know. Oh, okay. there's. You know, I don't think there's a lot of secret. Um, my Creation, That's it. Th there's that. <laughs> Uh, but I didn't start wearing makeup till I was 23. But even mm -hmm. then, like, I think 2016 was the first and only year I started wearing foundation. When you um, were in this universe. Yes. But the thing was, like, it's an art. Makeup is an art. It's and an I art. am not good 
at any art. So I just <laughs> given up. So my when I put on, I just put on like my fake eyelashes. Um, I got a new eyeliner. This is the Marc Jacobs eyeliner that J Lo used in her Super Bowl performance. J Lo, I literally it. bought it today because the makeup artist released the list of stuff that she really? used, and I was like, oh well, if it the eyeliner I lasted an entire it. performance, and look at you, I can look right now. <laughs> Um, but I do drink a lot of water. I sleep a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think any mask and you can share no, with us. No, I, I don't like I don't do much. No, I don't even wear a sleep mask. I think any cream. No, there's nothing there's nothing like that. I think it's all eternal. Um I think my skin has gotten a lot better when I've learned to let That's things go sad. and just be happy. What? This, she's so pretty, 30, she doesn't have wrinkles. And then we have to use a lot of cream. Yeah, but look at <laughs> look at J Lo. J Lo is fifteen. You see her on that stage, oh, and she here's oh, forty three. Nah, come on. <laughs> they look great. It's not so beautiful. They inject their faces. Those oh are my god. Okay, uh, Miss Elizabeth, funny. Cindy, you are just like J Lo. Okay. <laughs> She's like J Lo. Don't be fooled by the rock star. I remember when I was little, I was talking to my daughters, and I'm like, I remember when I was little, and I was with my aunts and everything and we said oh my aunt is 50 we saw an old lady mm -hmm. with short hair and the, the imagination of 50 year old lady it was completely different yes. than what it is so right now grand, yeah. i'm gonna of still course. look like this at 50 just, <laughs> just so y'all know i will still look like this at 50. when i arrived to canada i said why <clears throat> i'm gonna tell you a story my daughter she goes to a school where uh, they have a lot of international students. Mm -hmm. They have Japanese, they have Chinese, and then many, many, many Asian girls. And the librarian, she was um, very friendly. And after two years talking to her, I, I totally was thinking she was 28 or 30. Mm -hmm. And then one time she said, oh, no, I go to your home for whatever reason, and I pick something. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to with my husband. So someone knocked the door. And it was an old guy, like an Canadian guy with beard and gray and, you know, a little bit fat and old guy. Yeah, who's this? And, and he was like, I'm uh, Jenny's husband. I'm like, are you her husband? <laughs> and then she came and she's like, yeah, he's my husband. And then later, and the next day, I said, Janice, how old are you? She was like, I'm 59. I'm like, what the heck? Exactly, the guy could look fifty nine, uh -huh. of course, but she can. She was, she looks like thirty, like twenty eight wow. or something. What was her secret? She is Japanese. Oh. <laughs> okay, that is not her secret. <laughs> The number one honestly, thing, everyone no, needs to drink honestly, more water. That's why I'm saying water. this story, because Asian people, they don't age. Yes. I they don't think don't. that's the case. I think, I I'm think, sorry, guys, if you're watching, you're Asian. I'm sorry, I have to say you know. I think this is the secret here. A lot of people don't realize it's like a little simple as drinking water and moisturizing your skin. And tea? And what? <laughs> tea? Tea? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. I drink, a lot of, I drink a lot of bubble tea, that's for sure. <laughs> But the thing is, I just find, like, because even growing up, like, my mom was very, like, their version of standards of beauty has really changed a lot. Because, like, in the Asian community, the standard of beauty is, like, a porcelain skin. Because no you, sun. No sun. Because that means you have money to work indoors. Right? Oh, okay. The reason is your dark skin is because you are poor. You can't afford to work indoors. You don't have education. Social. Yeah. It was very different. And then when we moved to, like, Canada and being the Western culture, it was very like, no, you need to be darker skin because that means you can afford to go on vacation and get a tan. <laughs> so it was very tough, like, me going to Vietnam. And I'm wearing, like, you know, clothes like this. And Grandma's trying to cover me up. She's like, no, cover up no your skin. Sun. I was like, uh, Grandma, I need to go back to Canada tan. And she was like, you're not poor. You you have money. You need to, you're not in Canada now. So it's very tough. But, like, the biggest thing I knew growing up was, or what I've done the last five years now has been drinking more water. And, like, I need to start moisturizing my skin. I don't know if y'all can see this, but my fingers look like I'm 50 years old. There's, like, wrinkles <laughs> everywhere. I have really pretty, pretty fingers. Oh, my boyfriend makes fun and of me we, all the time. And we have to put, me, for example, I'm 44, I have to say. I have to use a lot of a lot of things on my face. A lot. Just give Come yourself on. a nice little cleanse. No, but I'm okay. No. You know what? You I'm look not, great, though. I'm I don't okay. really know what you're talking about. I'm okay. You look fantastic. <laughs> you're beautiful, Paula. We love you. Before we leave, we have to announce our master class. So we are happy here with Celia, and I think I can talk for the whole entire night with this lady. 
like two days in a row. So we need to go on a, an Airbnb <laughs> and have a party and talk. Because uh, we're going to have a master class. It's going to be um, February 13th, February 13th. Vamos a tener una master class. Where is it? It's a B Unique Salon. I'm going to tell you the details right now. All right. So, can you see this? Here, I'll hold it. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> like, I hold it. I hold it. Let me hold okay, it. This is the salon. B Unique. And then, I'm, can you read the social media things in here? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, here. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, be unique, unique with a K. Uh, <laughs> beauty. Add like beauty. Add be unique beauty. B U N I K beauty for Instagram, Twitter, um, and then even for Facebook is B B E unique and U N I K. I can't talk. Today. Okay, she's going to uh, repeat it again. And I'm kidding. I'm doing it in Spanish. <laughs> I'm going to do it in Spanish, so you know. Para la comunidad hispana, uh, vamos a tener una masterclass. Esto va a ser un jueves, febrero 13, en el salón B Unique. ¿Dónde queda el salón? Vamos a leer. 3590 Rutherford Road. Eso es en Vaughn, al unidad 1 y 2. Teléfono para que se registren a la clase 647-807-1639. It's going to be a master class. Vamos a tener un master class. Quien se quiera registrar, el teléfono va a ir aquí despacito. Despacito. Gracias. Hola. 647-807-1639. Ese es el teléfono donde se van a comunicar para registrarse. Don't forget, it's a master class to be ready for Valentine's. So it's February 13th. Next day will be Valentine's Day, right? February or Single 14th. Awareness Day. Saying, oh, no, you're not. You <laughs> I'm not saying. Or, or Galentine's Day. So if you have your uh, girls, get together. Galentine's Day, day. Single Awareness <laughs> Day. But the most important day is February 15th. Half price chocolate days. Those are very important days. <laughs> Half price chocolate days. That's good. So we can buy a lot for any event. You can't because you're going to participate today. Oh my God. <laughs> Galaxy. Oh. Everyone, yeah. if you could please message Paula and tell her she this needs to compete in Canada Galaxy pageants. If you could just tag her and message it's funny her. Because this is really hard to get rid of. I am fine. You don't need this. to get rid of it. That's the one thing I want everyone to understand is I need you just to be happy on stage and love you for this. you. And if that's it, then yes, we can work on that. But if not, I don't want people to think they need to be like like skinny that's or true. small or like extra curvy. Like you're not Mc Nicki Minaj, you're not Sorry, Lizzo. Be, you be you. Be size. you. Be you. Be unique. You're not plus size. You are literally a size. You are a size. You are perfect the way you are. I need everyone to just stop thinking you know they need to be like Cindy, this. I'm going to think about it for next year. Next year? Uh -uh. There's no next year. No, no, no. You said that. You no. Said you said that. Yes, you said that. Not this year because I have Reina. Remember. Are I'm you competing in it? No. Exactly. So, <laughs> what's the issue? Are you competing? No, mm, I'm not. Like, if you... Oh. You can be a director and compete. Like, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, everybody. I'm if you all can please it. message her. Anything. Okay. Just, uh, just DM her. That'll be fantastic. Thank you very much. Can I compete with this hair? Yes! I'm going to ask all the questions. Yes! Can I compete with yes! this? Yes! Okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else? You have no excuses. You no excuses. She yes. said on air, everyone, please message her and remind her. <laughs> I'm going to think about it. Okay. I think we are closing the program right now. Oh, Thank Elizabeth. She says, preach. <laughs> you want to read the last messages? Please? Oh, yeah. Just people saying, um, Janice said that she's going to have no front teeth. Her One of our one of our little miss, Kinsley, lost her front teeth. Oh. Um, she's like six years. She's five. So oh. she's, oh, yeah. Six. No, no, no. Yeah, she's a five year old losing her baby <laughs> oh, teeth. Like, oh, uh, Sarah from our Miss Galaxy said, Bury, thank you so much for your hello and for watching. Um, we really appreciate that. And Elizabeth as well. And everyone here is saying something to think about. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, and do it. Jerry's, Jerry's Vanessa is telling me, no, she needs to sign up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Janice. Do it. You are amazing. She's amazing. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, See? I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. <laughs> okay, know. but thank you so much for having me here today. All right. I know we didn't, we, we didn't really talk a lot about me, but it's, it's okay. okay.
Um, okay. But it's a bit. It's been an honor. I know you've been messaging me ever since you've gotten the show to Next come time here. We talk more about you. But no, we don't have to about talk about me. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. No, talking about beauty. Yeah, you know, Galaxy Pageant is her. It's so it is me. That is a full representation of me and everything and I love and am passionate about. Thank like, you so there's much. no me anymore. It's just. Just, just everyone You're else. You're being amazing. Thank I'm gonna you. think about it. Thank you for You're being gonna here. You're gonna do it. I'm not gonna <laughs> Bye bye. See you next Monday. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Okay, thank bye. You for watching. Share the program. Share, share, share. <laughs> 12 en línea TV. Tu nueva opción en radio online. Síguenos en redes sociales como 12 en línea TV. Porque dos es mejor que uno. Por eso ustedes y nosotros somos dos en línea. Dos en línea TV. La nueva propuesta de radio digital.